Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. So, the 2022 draft has come and, come and gone, and we all know who went where. So, in this video, there's some interesting news that came out tonight regarding the New Jersey Devils and their efforts to try to do something with that number two pick. So, I want to do a video on this. It's very interesting um, to do, and uh, you know, please stay with me throughout. So we all know the draft order, how it went. Yuri Slavkovsky went number one to the Montreal Canadiens uh, in a shocking, shocking draft. Um, it was very unexpected where the top two honestly went, or top four, I should say. Uh, Simon Nemish went to the New Jersey Devils. Um, Logan Cooley went to the Arizona Coyotes. And at number four, Shane Wright went to the Seattle Kraken. So come to find out that uh, per Pierre Lebrun on TSN 1050, he said, a Devils source close to me last night told me that their guy was really Yuri Slavkovsky. And once the Montreal Canadiens took him, New Jersey really tried to trade the pick. But obviously, in that very short amount of time, which is the three minutes they're allotted in between uh, drafts, uh, in between next selection, they didn't have the time to do that. So they took their next guy on their roster, which I'm assuming is their draft roster of who their next best available choices are. Um, you know, there was also word in this article that uh, Kent Hughes, general manager of the Montreal Canadiens, and Tom Fitzgerald, general manager of the New Jersey Devils, did have discussions to flip the number one and number two picks, but were unable to find common ground. And we heard this rumor going around the, a couple of weeks before the draft actually happened that, you know, maybe Kent Hughes was trying to contact general manager Tom Fitzgerald, try to see if he can acquire the second overall pick. Uh, we... There was something that was going around that the Montreal Canadiens wanted to make a big splash, which they did, um, and I'll do a future video on that as well. I really like what they did in the draft. But um, there was rumors going around that they were trying to acquire the number two pick and draft number one and number two. But in this case, it's basically general manager Tom Fitzgerald trying to trade up to get the number one spot because just the rumors were coming around about Montreal leaning more towards Jerry Slavkovsky over Shane Wright. Even Ken Hughes was asked days before the draft that, he was. He had. He didn't know. He didn't make up his mind yet. But he was leaning towards either Slavkovsky or Cooley, and not right. So, basically, came out and said he's looking at these two options, which he wasn't wrong. So, it's cool of a general manager to really um, say it how it is, and you know, basically tell you I'm looking at this way, not this way. And a lot of people were saying no. He's still going Shane Wright. So, that was interesting. But um, you know, it's very rare that a number two team trades with a number one. It's going to be a king's ransom to try to get that number one overall pick. So generally, the number two team pick just takes the next best player available. So, um, you know, that's what happened. But, um, you know, Todd Cordell also tweeted out that before round one got underway, the talk was that the New Jersey Devils made a pitch to the Calgary Flames for Matthew Kachuk that included the number two pick. So when I read this, I'm like, all right, at least Fitzgerald tried. You know, a lot of... I did a couple of videos about this... Um, you know, basically the one player I would really like for them to trade the number two overall pick, one of them, was Matthew Kachuk. I feel like he's definitely a player that suits the Devils' need right now. Um, you know, on all ends. He plays physical, he's big, he's aggressive, uh, he can score, he put up over 100 points. You know, that, that's a, a guy that, that this team could use and a player that sticks up for his uh, teammates. So if it, if it came at the cost of the number two overall pick, I would have done it, but, you know, at least Fitzgerald tried. That's all I could say in this. As long as he tried to kick the tires to see what it would cost to get um, Matthew Kachuk, you know, I I'm good with that. Um, but you, there was a sense the day before the draft that a lot of teams were also trying as well. Pierre Lebrun said that teams delicately approached the Calgary Flames regarding Matthew Kachuk. I like the way it was worded, delicately approaching the Calgary Flames. You know, it's... They're in a rough situation this this off season. You know, you have a pending uh, UFA in, in uh, Johnny Goudreau that may sign, may not, but he's going to test free agency to see what else is out there. Um, you know, the Calgary Flame, Flames have, you know, reportedly given him a really good offer. And, um, you know, he still wants to see what's out there in free agency. Doesn't mean he's not going to sign with them, but, um, you know, he's still looking out there just to make a decision of where he wants to go next or if he wants to stay a Flame. And, you know, they have Matthew Kachuk, who's a pending RFA, and he needs a new deal. So both of these players are going to command a lot of money. They both had breakout years, both over 100 points. And, um, you know, 
the, the Calgary Flames want to keep them around. They're core pieces of their team, and they attributed a lot to the team's success this year. So, you know, that's probably why a lot of teams were asking about Kachuk. Maybe they figured the Calgary Flames would be able to sign Johnny Gaudreau and not afford both of them. So maybe they could try to trade for Matt Kachuk. That's what I assume, too. That's where I thought the Devils were going to try to get him because they have the cap space to afford um, one of those players. So, you know... We'll see what happens. You know, Matty Kachuk is still a name that's out there. I'm sure teams are still trying to get him. Uh, there's rumors of St. Louis trying, uh, as of I read tonight. So there are teams trying to kick the tires still on Calgary Flames. Maybe the Calgary Flames end up signing Johnny Goudreau, re-signing him, and move out Matty Kachuk. It's, it's a possibility. You never know what's going to happen in the offseason. Maybe they find a way to move uh, cap space to sign both of them to new deals. So we'll see. Off-season's fun. We're days away from free agency, so comment below what you think about this. What do you think about this whole video in regards to what was Fitzgerald trying to do with that number two? Are you happy with the selection of Simon Nemish? Com comment below and let me know. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down and join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy.